I can remember one of the most impressive things is in the middle of the summer. It's hot, we're harvesting peaches, the peach fuzz is irritating, and yet I'm surrounded by men and women that are singing as they're working. What, what workplace can you find today where people are singing as they work? And there's a certain joy about being connected with agriculture and producing a crop. My grandfather was in 1907 located in Southern California. He read in the newspaper about the convergence of two railroads in this area. Our family lived in a tent for the first year while they were developing this previously undeveloped area of California. We now have economies, communities, throughout the San Joaquin Valley that were built around this promise of surface water being delivered and in years where surface water was inadequate that they had the groundwater to fall back on. In the case of areas that are entirely dependent upon groundwater, if they don't come up with a surface water supply, it's likely in a period of three consecutive dry years in a row when Sigma is fully implemented, that they would be called out to restrict their pumping by 50%. You don't have enough water and you lose those trees, you're going to be sideways with the bank in a hurry. Everything we grow is either peaches, almonds, or walnuts. In this area, it's very difficult because we're farming on very sandy soils. We have to treat our farming techniques more like hydroponics, where we're managing the water very carefully. When I began working on the ranch, I was probably eight or nine years old. All of our irrigation practices were either furrow or flood irrigation. It was very hard. It was very hard to manage the water very well. When we learned about drip irrigation. We immediately switched to that as rapidly as we could afford to. It wasn't designed to use less water. It was designed to use the water more efficiently and more effectively. Compared to 1974, when I first started farming, to today, we've almost tripled the per acre production on cling peaches on this ranch. Farming has been pushed to use water more efficiently, but at the same time now, we've circled back and the Department of Water Resources is encouraging flood irrigation to recharge groundwater. Unintended consequences usually lead to circling back to where you started from. When I walk through an orchard and I see the micro sprinkler, the drip irrigation systems, and I see good tree vigor and health, it makes me, um, it makes me proud like a grandparent. 